ha hina. Hina hina. Ho ha hina. Hina hina. <laughs> hina 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 <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel i know i know the devil is not working in you because i know that you're not just gonna go without subscribing no you how never i know you got better manners than that i know you're about to subscribe right now if you haven't you know <laughs> This is a family. I'm gonna be here all the time, so you better start subscribing so you get that ding notification, that poof in the poof in the poof in your notification, okay? I'm back with another video for you beautiful people. Yes, I am. I came across something very interesting the other day. Excuse me while my nose, I couldn't get an appointment. I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, Sikom say sikom sas, okay? <laughs> no, I need to stop, okay? Get Drake, Grace, behave, okay? So, I came across something in a video. Was it a video? No, I keep coming across messages from you guys. It makes me feel really, really uncomfortable when people say I'm perfect because I know it's so far from the truth. Like, if you understand the struggle, <laughs> the str the, the str the struggle to maintain beauty is very annoying. And there's some things that I go through that I wish to share with people, just so that you know that I'm just like you and I go through my own wahala. And um yeah, even though that they make me feel uncomfortable, I feel like Is it tricks? Yeah, like maybe body tricks or body twerks. I'm gonna think of. Mm, let's go with let let's 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 try and do ten. That's if we get there. Um, because I feel like I have a solid five already. So let me see if I can get into this so that I can give you guys as much help as possible. Like, let me just give you a quick disclaimer as well. Nobody's perfect, okay? Don't ever look at social media, don't ever look at somebody's picture and feel like their life is perfect. Everybody goes through their own drama, everybody has their own insecurities, they are all there, trust me, no matter how much money you have, you will still have your own insecurities, whether it's your weight, whether it's your eyebrows that's not appearing, whether it's your receding hairline, we are all beautiful, just accept who you are, whether it's your hanging belly, let it hang, okay, whether it's your hanging breast, let it hang. Wear whatever you like, do whatever you want to do, be happy, okay? Anybody that tries to tell you otherwise, tell them to shut their mouth. Tell them to sh Tell them to frim, okay? <laughs> so yeah, let me get straight into this video. <clears throat> so the first tip and trick I will give you, you girls, is sellotape. Yes, sellotape, Grace. Grace, why? Why sellotape? We use the sellotape to do for your belly, okay? Yes, for your belly. You just layer once, layer once, layer two. <laughs> if you see the way the dress will do on your body, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be doing a single, single. The dress will just be doing hourglass, beautiful. Figure. I can't show you now, but I feel like maybe when I do my review, because I'm trying to do like a haul, I'm supposed to do a haul uh, next week. That's if the clothes actually arrive. Then how to, how I do it? But sellotape, like the wide ones, you could use the black one. You can use the um, the duct tape. The duct tape is even the powerful one. The one that's powerful. Just slap, bang it on. Slap two layers. Slap three layers. I just have a little tick tockity tick that you just need to staple out away and you need to just put the sellotape and wipe the things away. Listen, I don't know whether there's any health situationships with it. For me, I've used it several times. <laughs> several times I've done it. Um, I would say the only con of what I do of this is um, when you have bae. I remember there was one time, oh my gosh, I'm actually giving you this story, but it's too funny. There was one time I had worn it and, um, and bae was just hugging me and, eh, 
he just started hearing ratty to tat tat ratty to tat that's another thing it does make a bit of noise it was just a ratty to i said ah yeah let me just quickly go and run to the bathroom here i ran to the bathroom and then he follows behind me and i was just trying to close the door like you're not gonna see this in the tape today <laughs> off cut it off and the second thing is that you know it can be a bit it can be a bit noisy <laughs> so my number two is men's deodorant <laughs> men's deodorant it's a bon foie in a bon foie. <laughs> Men's deodorant will last you to thy kingdom come and you'll be smelling so orgasmic in your armpits. Two I recommend is Lynx Black Knight. Yeah. And then the other one I like is, mm, I would say this is the best one to be honest. I don't think I should even recommend the other one because the other one's all right. Um, but Lynx. <laughs> The way this goes on the skin here, yeah, it feels like satin. It feels like smooth satin, bruv. It's so nice and it smells like this all day. Like sometimes I go back and bed, I'm like, ah, ah, you're still there. You finish buffing, ah, ah, you're still in the armpit. Why? It's time for bed. <laughs> And I feel like for me, I just need an extra oomph because the only place I sweat on my body is my armpits. I don't sweat on my face. I don't sweat on me. You know, some people sweat on their chest. Some people sweat in their legs. Everybody sweats in different places. Mine is just my armpits. So I need an extra double decker. People will probably laugh at this, but this is another thing. This will be your best friend as well. Tissue for the armpits. Hold it with some sellotape. Hello. <laughs> Especially if you're like, for me, if I'm going out, if I'm going to all the different things, if I'm going where they're taking snaps of me, I can't be having a, a sweat patch there. I'm so sorry. I'm just too sorry. Sometimes, there's even times, yeah, me and my girl, just before we went to this um, Iroko TV premiere thing, I remember that night and I had put, I was wearing a black dress and I put, sell it, I put... <laughs> I put tissue and then I put sellotape over the tissue so it sat just right. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we do that. Okay. Sometimes it's really needed and you need the, the double oomph. And sometimes if you use the links plus that, plus everything, you won't sweat one bit. You tip and trick, yeah, is a lot of people are always asking me, Grace, oh my God, your skin is so smooth. Like, you have such nice skin, like, blah, blah, blah. What do you use? And my ultimate blessing that I have learned is to make my own creams. Now, I know I know you might think, oh, it's a bit technical, it's a bit long, you know what I mean, can't really be bothered. But trust me when I tell you, it's A, beneficial, and two, it lasts so long. You never really have to buy creams again. It's just so sufficient. And then you can also put what is best for your skin in there. I remember just um, rem just using um, lemony products because my skin loved a lemon and it went to my skin went to the next level when I went to start making my own creams I started adding lemon essential oil and yeah that's where I would say that my skin became the best because you you know it's like in us growing up and you being older you can tell oh my like my skin likes aloe vera it might like cocoa butter it might like natural shea butter um, so you can then make your own cream custom to your skin type. Yeah, your skin type. Show you all these things because it's just going to be too long. But I will just give you my recommendations. Daily moisturizer that I use, and and I have a container in which I mix everything in. So you can get that from where can you get containers from? Super Drugs. I mean, if you live in America, Walgreens, Target, Target. <laughs> So I squeezed quite a lot of this in there. I have, to be honest, I have quite dry skin. Um, very rarely, you know, do I have oily skin on my face, but my body is pretty much very, 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 very dry. So I use this, add this. You can add different things. It's fun, actually. I have a vitamin C. Oh, you can add Vera gel. You can add sandalwood. You can add um, tea tree oil, peppermint. Uh, shea butter, cocoa butter, oil, 
uh, olive oil, loads of things. Could you imagine all those natural ingredients, what they're doing for your skin? So that is what I do. So I add a big jug of this, then I add my olive oil, essential oils, lemon oil, uh, loads of shea butter. When I go to Nigeria, I always come back with big fat natural shea butter. I slap that in. I mix everything together. Mix, 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 mix. Slap it all on my body. That's it. <laughs> when I'm going out, and then my legs are always gleaming, and people are always like, Grace, why are your legs like gleaming? It's this, okay? I just take some of this, I shake it, and I squeeze everything on. Now, this is hair cream or hairspray, but it does the job. And I'm always fl bloody shiny by the time I'm finished. So there's another tip for you. Another secret of mine is olive oil. I spray that on my body, spray it on my chest. Look, 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 look. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> what are you saying, fam? So I don't even know what number we're on. Maybe five. I don't know, maybe five. But remember when, you know, Okay, so say for example, us frontal users, you use, you put on your frontal, then you make a mistake, then it's looking white, <laughs> it's looking mad, and you don't have alcohol. Hmm. hmm, Grace, what would you use in the form of that kind of accident? If you are a frontal user and you don't have tea tree oil body shop toner, you're messing up. <laughs> This will take off the white gel that's hanging, the white glue that's hanging, it will take it off. It will really take it off. So get yourself this, put it on some, on a towel or something. You know when you just wash your frontal, like I did mine today, I washed my frontal and then I still had a little bit of, a little bit of glue still on it. And I just took a towel, very gently, added a bit of this yeah put it in hot water put the towel in hot water and then i just gently and everything just came off this will be your best friend and thank me later i want to tell me how this goes even just go and practice on like one of your gluey wigs at home and you know first of all um condition it condition condition the lace then take a little thingy toner i would i would think if this works i'm not I'm, I'm thinking does every other toner work the same see whether it works the same maybe it's just this i don't know but i realized that this really 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 works up oh, wipes in the night <laughs> when you run out of makeup wipes in the night and you're about to cry because you need to figure out how you're gonna wipe it off you better hope that you have baby wipes they're so cheap they're so sufficient they work the best I love them so much and if you think about it when you get the little ones like the little Johnson's ones or the little I don't know simple ones or whatever whatever that you want to use you only get about 10 max 15 this one there's 72 hello can somebody say hello dear? Take one of these wipes and then put olive oil on it for your eye makeup, it will come off. For example, it doesn't all come off because you've done too much. The highlight is just too much. The eye pencil, like me, the eyeliner is too much. So if you add this, put a little bit of olive oil and wipe it off, it will all come off in one squeaky clean, loudie dardy. <laughs> there are other, there's some natural um, creams as well that you, I forgot to uh, recommend. Um, vitamin E. Vitamin E I add to my creams as well. It's good for like, you know, um, it's like 24 hour moisturization and it also is very good in terms of like sun. So it's like sun protectant. So, you know this got to be, that's everybody's friend. Got to be. I want to put got to be on my head. I got to put got to be. Got to be is not only good for putting on your frontals they can also be good for putting on your lashes when it's a 911 operation okay sometimes 911 calls and got to be has to glue on your eyelashes and that's okay that that's really okay i don't mind but um so it can be used for this is what i use it for i'm not gonna lie i use it for my baby hairs and if i am really really <laughs> messed up somewhere 
I might just add a bit of this bold hold wig glue and I will glue my eyelashes and they won't move one second out of the way. Now, that's something that you have to discuss with yourself. <laughs> when you girls do all these things, yeah, I said it works for me and I didn't die, okay? I still went out and I was looking glamour. Sometimes, yeah, when the wig glue has run out, when something, there's so many things that go wrong, yeah, when you're getting ready. And one of them for me has to be like the, the glues. Glues are usually the biggest problem that I have. So if I have another glue that's meant for something else, I might just use it to do stick on my eyelashes. And it's okay, I didn't die. Those are all my recommendations. I don't think I have anything else. I'm trying to do stuff for like your skin. And people have been asking me a lot. Been asking me a lot about my water bottle. And a lot of you wonder why have been asking me why do i what is in there what am i drinking why and honestly it's always water because i find it difficult to drink water from a cup because i don't know i just feel like it doesn't taste it doesn't go down the same but if it's in this i will drink it it's the weirdest thing i don't know my mom's told me i've always been like that since a child like i always like sippy cups but I didn't realize that I'll be 27 and still doing it. So, but yeah, I find it very easy to, this is like, I wouldn't be surprised if this, I don't know how, what size this is, but it's really big. I go through about two of these a day. So that's also probably another contribution. Apart, um, other than me drinking my juices, I always drink those with meals. So if I have like, like a, because I really just eat one meal a day, I'm not going to lie, and then the rest of the day I kind of snack. So with snacks, I will drink water, but if I'm having an actual meal, then I will pick one of my carton drinks from the fridge and I will enjoy my meal. But normally, I just drink a whole heap of water, and that's also probably another contribution why my skin is really on point. And um, it only gets really bad during my periods, so if my period is coming and it's about to be a harsh one, then I'll get like a horrible spot somewhere. Normally I don't get any spots or any acne or anything like that. And I think it's definitely because of water. I'm Primark in Bedford. I know a lot of people, I've actually been getting a lot of questions about this cup. I got it from Primark in Bedford, Sean is at my mom's house. So have a look, maybe you'll find one similar to, the, um, to them. And yeah, I find it very easy to consume a lot more water in this i don't know why sometimes i i'm cheeky i put ribena in it <laughs> sometimes i'm cheeky i'll go and pour ribena but for the most part i drink a lot of water so yeah anyway i hope this video was insightful i hope that something in here um is was is something that you will try out i mean nothing happened to me and i'm okay as you can see, if you want anything similar like this, if you like these videos, give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I would love to hear from you below. Let me know how these go. Let me know whether they worked out for you. It was, okay, you're just talking so much shit at the moment. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in my next video. And thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye. Hina. <laughs>